Okay, so now adding fractions, and we're going to get a little bit more challenging. We know that we need common denominators. We know that we add the numerators. And taking a look at our first example here, we have a case where we have some variables and we have unlike denominators. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to handle that denominator. 4 and 3 both go into 12. So whatever I do to the top, I'm going to end up doing to the bottom, so times 3 times 3, which gives me 9x over, t over, come on now, 12, there it is, plus, and I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 4 to give me 8 over 12. Okay, so common denominators, I know my answer is going to have a denominator of 12. Now I take a look at the numerators and I realize that they're not like terms. This right here has an x underneath it. This under here are, uh, with it, so it's 9x plus 8. And since I can't do that, I'm just going to put it all in the numerator as so. So 9x plus 8 over 12. And that is simplified. That is simplified. So let's take a look at another example. We're going to go through, let's say, 4 over 2x plus, let's go, 10 over 5. Now, same situation with this. Nothing changes. I still need my common denominator. Otherwise, I can't solve this. I can't do it. So I take a look at this, and I try and figure out, okay, let's deal with the, let's deal with the numbers first. Let's take a look at the numbers. What do both my numbers go into? Well, 10, okay? So I'm going to multiply this by 5 and multiply this by 5, so I get a, a 20 over 10 x. Now I take a look at this fraction right here. I take a look at this fraction right here. I take a look here. This has an x. This one doesn't. So I'm going to compensate for that. So I'm going to multiply by 2 to get a denominator of 10. But then I realize that it's missing an x. So not only am I going to multiply by 2, but I'm going to multiply by 2 and an x to bring an x over here. So again, whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. And so I have 10 times 2x, which gives me 20x. And now I can add these together. I have my common denominator, so I can add these together. So it ends up being 10x on the bottom. And then the numerator, since again, I do not have like terms, I have 20 plus 20x. Now I'm finished with this. Well, sort of. Uh, I noticed something about my numbers. I noticed that they're all even. So anytime I can pull out a common factor out of all of my numbers in, within a fraction, I can simplify. So that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to divide the 20, the other 20, and the 10 by 2 to get myself 10 plus 10x over uh, 10 divided by 2 is 5, and then I have my x. So um, taking a look at it even further now, saying, oh, I think I can simplify that as well. I think I can pull out a 5 out of all of my numbers. Common factor of 5, common factor of 5, common factor of 5. So I'm going to end up with 2 plus 2x over x. And I can't simplify this x right here. I can't take out this x with this one because I would have to pull it out of this number as well. And, well, that's not there. So that would be my simplified answer. 2 plus 2x all over x.